fellow citizens and residents. The year 2024 has arrived, and as we give God thanks that we have crossed over safely, we also acknowledge the fact that this year is being greeted with great anxiety by most of the citizens and residents of Antigua and Barbuda. We look back at all the challenges we navigated in 2023, including high inflation, high crime, high unemployment among our youth, and high levels of mental illness, physical sickness, and death. As well, we remember the still unresolved low points of the past year, including the huge failure of Antigua Airways and the blatant deceptions of the Brown administration, the loss of more than a dozen Cameroonians at sea, the abandonment of the survivors in St. Kitts, the critical shortage of potable water, the neglect of the health facilities, including the hospital, the gradual crumbling of our infrastructure, the disappointment of the minimum wage increase, and the mistreatment of the former late 1974 workers. The list is long, but the pictures are still fresh in your minds. This new year will bring even greater financial challenges to us, the people, as the steep hike in several taxes will mean increased prices in the supermarket, at the bar, in the hardware store, at the hairdresser, at the doctor, when we travel, in short, everywhere. And while the Brown administration tells us that this is the cost of funding salary increases for public servants, we are hearing nothing on how it intends to cushion the impact of these taxes on our purses and wallets. We have heard the throne speech and the budget presentation, and there is no mention of measures to ease the squeeze this government has created. Only recycled promises that hardly ever materialize, and when they do, it is never to the benefit of the working class or the poor or the pensioners. Therefore, my fellow citizens and residents, this is the time to take the words of our anthem seriously. The time for us to gird our loins and join the battle against the fear that has kept too many people silent and powerless and to actively resist those who plant hatred among us in an effort to keep us in poverty while their self-enrichment continues. This land as one Calypsonian put it, is enough for all to share. But with all the fake figures and pie-in-the-sky promises we have heard for the last decade, we have only seen the middle class shrinking and the ranks of the working poor swelling. Accordingly, 2024 must be the year in which we take back our land, redeem our country, and ensure that no worker, no child, no senior, no community, and no constituency lives in despair. The United Progressive Party offers a better and fairer alternative to what passes now for governance, and we pledge to spare no effort to bring relief, release, and restoration to this country and its people. We did it before, and we can do it again. We have suffered too much. We have lost too much already. We owe it to ourselves and to our children and their children to pull Antigua and Barbuda back from the moral and financial bankruptcy that now faces us. And once we stand together, for what is good and what is right, we can get it done. I am Jamal Pringle, leader of the opposition and MP for All Saints East and St. Luke, 
on behalf of the United Progressive Party's leadership, executive, and the membership, I wish all patriots at home and in the diaspora, all residents, all faithful constituents who showed their strong support in the last general election, every blessing, good health, love, peace at home, daily bread on your tables, and the courage to join us as we take back our beloved Antigua and Barbuda in 2024. May God bless us and crown our collective efforts with success. Happy New Year.